You're right. I should have been honest from the beginning. I should have. I dropped him. I literally dropped him. He's still conscious. He was still conscious. Like, I swear, he was still conscious. I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess thinking about it, falling from this high down to a, down to a floor, it's pretty bad. When Shannon Sherman met Jesse Hartley, she thought she had found someone she could build a life with. Someone who would love and cherish her and her young son, Brandon. At first, this seemed to be the case. The couple moved in together and Harley gave every appearance of enjoying acting in a paternal role with Brandon. Harley took care of him as if he were his own son. On May 1st, 2018, Sherman went out with a friend and left Hartley to watch Brandon. Several hours later, she received a phone call from Hartley saying that he had found the two-year-old in the tub unresponsive. Terrified, Sherman quickly went to meet him at the hospital, only to find that her son was dead and that Hartley may have been the cause. not exhibited strong emotion about Brandon's death, and everyone who interacted with him noted his unnatural calmness. I recently released another shocking case on my Patreon. This video shows the interview of a man who, after being involved in the murder of a man and his wife, later ended up shooting a 12-year-old boy in the head. You can watch it right now at patreon.com slash Stranger Stories Plus. Fortnite. I don't know what that is. It's just a video game. Okay. But he likes to sit there and play with a fake controller while I played, so we did that for a little bit. And then he got up, I was like, you wanna go play with your toys? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, all right, we can go find some Boss Baby. 
So we took him into his room, put on some Boss Baby, let him play with his toys for a little bit. I went back to my game, went back in there, checked on him, asked him if he went to the bath, took him in for a bath, put him in the bath, um, sat with him until it was done filling up, played with him for like two seconds, and I got up, went to the kitchen, and opened the fridge door, grabbed Code Red, took a few drinks out of it, sat there for probably like five seconds, set the drink down, and then went back in there and found, picked him up out of the bath, and spit blood on my face, and I tried performing CPR, which failed, where I then freaked out. Something I left out before was that I couldn't find the car keys. I was running all over the house in my arms, looking for the car key. I finally found it. I ran out the door. I shot him into his car seat and told her I was unsure if an ambulance would help or not. I explained to her that she was, she was still breathing. I explained the situation to her. She hung up. She was going to, I don't know who she was going to call, she was going to call someone. And got not too far from TA whenever I told her I got really scared, like he was still breathing, but I got really scared, so I told her just to call the ambulance and I'll meet him on the highway. She told me okay. And I hung up the phone, just past TA down the bottom of that sister. Um, the 911 operator called me, told me that if I needed to pull off. She asked me if she asked me if he was breathing. I told her that he was breathing, but I hadn't seen him take breath in a minute. She told me that if I needed to pull off the road and she would work me through CPR. And this is about towards the top of the next sister. So uh, I went to pull off the road and realized that where I was going to pull off was a really bad spot where I could get hit or the whole car could get hit where officers wouldn't have been able to reach me so I drove down to the sisters or down to the camera exit. I parked, I pulled him out of his car seat and I started trying to perform CPR on him again where I then lost the 911 operator. I tried calling 911 multiple times and it still wouldn't work so I tried stopping a bystander where then any officer, I'm not sure who, but an officer pulled up and helped me perform CPR where I then realized I was doing it wrong the entire time. So tell me how... <laughs> Sorry. Good. You want to think that if I would have done it right, you'd probably have saved him. Brandon was already dead by this point, and CPR would not have revived him from his injuries. <laughs> he was doing it wrong the whole time. <laughs> and now look where I'm at, and I miss him so much. Sorry, it's okay. I continue. When, when you walked into the bathroom, and he was in the bathtub, tell me again how you. What, where, where was he at in the bathtub? How was he lying? I, I honestly couldn't. He was, all I could tell you is lying face down. I couldn't really tell you where. Like in the middle, I guess. I don't know. And you pulled him out of the tub. I started performing CPR. I realized it wasn't working. So I left this out. But Hartley changes pieces of his story each time the detective points out an inconsistency. Before we move forward, I want to extend my thanks for watching. This video today has no sponsor, so if you're enjoying it, subscribing helps the channel grow. You can also check out my second channel, Stranger Crimes, after this video. I told you last time you asked me why I put a diaper on him, but literally in the matter of seconds, I picked his legs up, put the diaper halfway on him, and then I picked him up, and I picked him up, I threw the diaper on him. I know you guys may think that's weird, but I didn't want to take him out and sat naked. Okay. Didn't. So I took this two seconds to do that. What point did he spit up blood on you? When I picked him up. 
Especially right. When you, right when you got them? I almost want to say, like, as I picked them up, I kind of squeezed them and kind of forced some of that out. I, like, not, like, squeezed them, but, like, I just kind of picked them up. And uh, I almost want to say me picking them up caused them to, like, cough out, like, a bloody water on me. Was that when you got them right on the tub or after you put the pull up on? It was after I pulled them out of the tub, like right as I pulled them right up. Right as you pulled them up, then you spit on you? Yeah. Okay, was it a lot? Was it a it was bit? Um, my face when it was, when I, I don't want to say it was a lot, no. Okay. And it was, you think it was blood? I, I believe so. It could have been throw up because whenever we were performing CPR and in the car, he was, he a bunch of throw up was coming up. Okay. And my face smelled like throw up after that point, which I don't, I didn't, I don't recall smelling throw up before then, but it could have been throw up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I what honestly is the, didn't see the time to check. You fed just, him earlier. Yeah. Before he played cars yeah. and stuff. Do you remember what he had for lunch? Uh. So we woke up about eleven o'clock. So. We woke up pretty late, so we fed him pretty much breakfast for lunch. We had the uh, uh, fruit loops with marshmallows in it. Did he eat anything else before the bath? I gave him a cookie because okay. he ate all of it. When I refinishes all of his food, I give him a cookie. Okay. So I gave him a cookie. Okay. There's, we found a, a can of juice in his room, like a frozen those frozen concentrate cans mm -hmm. in his bedroom. Do you, do you know what that was in there for? I just thought that was kind of weird that it was in there. It could have gotten dropped in there. We just moved in. It could have got dropped in there. I don't know. Okay. I just I thought it was kind of strange. That is weird. I don't know. can of juice by yeah. his bed. That yeah. is weird. Yeah. Okay. Did, uh, was there any spit up or throw up or blood or anything? Did it get anywhere else in the house? I, I didn't take the time to check. I was just looking for the keys, and as soon as I found it, I left. I didn't pay attention to anything else. No blood spatter that Hartley describes was found at the scene. Did you wrap him in a towel or blanket or anything? Um, no. Did you, did you clean anything up before you left? Uh, there was a point where, like, I wiped my hands on something, I don't know why I wet my hands on something before I got the car keys. You don't remember what that was? No. Do you know what part of the house you were in when you wiped your hands? No, I was in the hallway. You were in the hallway? Was it like a cloth? Was it the wall, the floor? No, it was like a cloth. I picked something up like that and just wiped off my hands. You just wiped off your hands? Yeah. What did you do with that object that you wiped your hands off with? chopped it. I don't know where. I just threw it down. I was more worried about getting to the hospital. Okay. Was there anything else that you cleaned up that day? His milk mess. His milk mess. What did you clean that up with? I want to say a blanket. Oh. And I just saw it in there. Okay. How about wet wipes? Did you clean anything up with wet wipes? I want to say I wiped him off with a wet wipe. Okay, when, when did you wipe him off with a wet wipe? Right after I wiped myself off, I, like I saw the wipe and I wiped his chest. I want to say I threw that in the, in the garbage. Okay, how many wipes do you think you used there? One or two. So was there, where did you get those from? His room. His room. So did you stop at his room? Tell me how I just saw the wipes thing right inside his room. I grabbed a few. I almost want to say that's where I grabbed the, the piece of cloth I washed my hands off with. Mm -hmm. So you were coming down the hallway with him? Mm hmm. From our room. And you saw the wipes? Yeah, and I wiped him off. And I'm sorry, I'm not being 100% clear here, but yeah, I wiped him off and then I wiped my hands off and then I threw it away. Okay. Any idea why? Well, you took the time to do that, I guess, and put it in the garbage, not just keep on two seconds. I don't know. I, I honestly, I, I asked myself why I didn't even just take him to the other hospital. Like, I, I'm pretty sure whenever I saw you, I asked you if the other place had an emergency room, but I bet you if I would have just brought him in there, yeah. in the other emergency room, they probably would have performed CPR on him.
they probably would have helped, regardless of it being an emergency room. I asked myself a bunch of questions of why I didn't do this and why I didn't do that. I don't know. Yeah. Just a moment of stress, right? Okay. So I, I asked you when we were sitting out at the hospital about any drug, alcohol use, anything that day. Um, was there any drug or alcohol use that day by you? I didn't. I know that you guys most like it on marijuana. I do use marijuana. It helps me eat and it helps me sleep, but I had not that day. You haven't used anything that day? I haven't used anything that day, and marijuana is the only thing I use. I really don't drink. I really don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do any hard drugs. I don't. I, I just use marijuana to help me sleep and help me eat. I honestly God, was not okay. on it that day. Like, when I really was the last time you? The night before, I, I, I used it to go to sleep. Okay. Did you ask anybody to go over the house? I did. And take care of that? Yeah, Remember I did, that? but they told me they couldn't. Okay. I knew you were going to find that anyway. I, right. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm, if that's what I go to jail for, then that's what I go to jail right. for, but I didn't kill a little boy. Was there a reason why you didn't want me to have your phone? Just for that sole fact, I want you to see that I told people to go grab that. Okay. Do you remember you told? Yeah, my mother. Okay. Is there anything on your phone that I'm going to find that, that might not be mm -hmm. something you want on there? Because I've, I've got it and everything's downloaded off that. Okay. So nothing there? What might there be? I don't know. Is there any pornography on it? Uh, what do you mean pornography? Like personal pornography? Just pornography. I mean, like I mean, like I watch porn, like uh, Pornhub, but I don't. As far as I know, that's not illegal. Okay, but is there anything on the phone downloaded on your no. phone? Nothing on there. No. Okay. Any photographs of any type of pornographic photographs? Not that I know of. No. Okay. Uh, if they are, they're really, really old. I have probably over 700 pictures in there that I haven't looked at since I've got the phone. Uh, so, did you have any any issues with Brandon that day? Was he behaving? Was he misbehaving? No. Was he in a good mood, bad mood? When he first woke up, he was in a meh mood, but he usually is. Mm -hmm. And he was fine after that. Okay. He was good. Do you ever lose your temper with him? No. No? I, I, that little boy is like the only thing that keeps me calm. Right. Like, I don't know, like, I could be pissed off at the whole world, and there were days where I'd be pissed off at the whole world, and, like, he'd come up and talk to me, and mm -hmm. I, I'd feel fine. Hartley tries a little too hard to play up his relationship with Brandon. I feel fine. I, I want to play with him. He did the complete opposite. Don't get me wrong, there were times where he frustrated me, but I'm 18 years old and like, I really, I really, whenever he would frustrate, frustrate me, I, I stay calm, step back, and look at like what my mom would do. And that's like where the timeout came from. He started going to timeout because I found it more constructive than whooping his ass. I found it way more constructive than because when Shannon would spank him, she'd swat his butt, like he'd be freaking out, she'd swat his butt, and then he'd freak out some more, and then we'd stand there, let him calm down, and he'd calm down, and then everything would be fine. I'm like, why? So my idea was, why can't we just, he's freaking out, put him in a chair, let him freak out, and then that's that. Like, that little boy helped me a lot with with a lot of my temper and I don't even have a temper but he helped me with my anger. He helped me with I don't know, actually getting things things through I guess. Did you ever lose your temper with him? No. No. You never pushed you to a point because I mean kids get <laughs> frustrating sometimes. Yeah. They are yeah. frustrating they throw fit. I remember one time he that. he I tried giving him to use a potty all day long and <laughs> he stood up from the potty and pissed all over me. Yeah. Pissed all over me. Right. And like, 
I looked at him and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you can't go to the bathroom, but you can piss all over me? But I kept my calm. I went in, I changed my pants, I changed his clothes. He sat in time out, came out, I was like, look, dude, you can't just pee on the floor, you're not a dog. Mm-hmm. You gotta use the potty. He's like, okay. And like, it sounds ridiculous that I talked to him like that, but like, he's a really smart kid. You could, mm-hmm. you could talk to him like that, and I felt like he understood. Okay. Did you ever, did you ever hit him anywhere besides his little bottom? No. I smacked him on the bum twice in my entire life. Okay. Well, here's the, the unpleasant part. Okay, I, t- I told you on Tuesday that we, you know, we were going to do an autopsy and mm-hmm. we were going to find out what caused him to stop breathing and die. Mm-hmm. Right, I told you we were going to find that out. Mm-hmm. And we did. Mm-hmm. So, when I tell you the reason why he died, I want to know if you're going to have anything else to tell me, because what you what you told me does not match up in any way with what the doctor found. Okay. What did the doctor find? He did not drown. Okay. Brandon did not drown. I know that to be fact. Okay, then how did okay. how did he have so much water in his lungs? Why did I find him in the bathtub? Brandon did not have water in his lungs. Well, here's what I think. I think something happened on Tuesday, and I don't know what. I don't know if you just got to that point where you were extremely frustrated with him because that happens. Kids are frustrating. I would never do that to him. Do what? I would never. I would never hurt him like that. I would never. I would never. I would never kill him. I would. I wouldn't do that. I know what you're trying to assume on me right now. I would never hurt him. Well, I would point. never. I'm not saying that you set out. All right, today's Tuesday. I'm gonna kill I'm him. I'm not right. saying that. That's what right. you're saying. I'm saying I would never get to the point where I'd snap. I have never got to the point where I'd. I, I've never got to the point where I snapped and hurt him. So I don't think I'd go to the point of killing him. Okay. Well, I, I'm not. I've never said that you set out to, to end his that's life. That's what you were just. That's what you were just saying. Though. No, I. I I never said that you set out to end his life. Okay, I don't. I don't think that. I think what you're saying is that I snapped. I think it. something bad happened, and I'm going to explain why. Okay, something happened that day before you put him in that van. I know this. The hospital knows it. The pathologist knows this. What's okay, the pathologist? and you know he's the the doctor, the medical doctor that performed the autopsy. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was the one. I was there. And he told me the cause of death. And I asked him, did the boy drown? No, he did not. He did not drown him. Okay. I think he, something happened. You got upset. I didn't, I wasn't upset at him. Did you, did you guys have a little wrestling match? A little tussle? Did you? No. I told you. Happened? I told you. I told you. Okay, so. I told you how he was eating in his room, right? All right. The reason why he was eating in his room, and you could go and ask his mother this, is he fell out of the table and hit his hit his head earlier that day. Okay. okay. This fall was never mentioned before. Hartley only conveniently remembers when he needs something to explain Brandon's injuries. So that that's the only other injury that day that I know that he he got. We weren't wrestling. We were. I didn't hit him. I wasn't mad at him. Nothing. Let me tell you how this works. I have a piece of paper that I fill out, right? And I send it up to our county prosecutor. And I write down what he told me. Okay. I write down what the pathologist found. Okay. And I send that up to her. And she's going to look at that, and she's going to see either you told the truth or that you lied. And what goes along with the pathologist, okay? Okay. And let me tell you, the little boy didn't die in the bathtub. He did not drown. Do you know I don't think he, he died, died in the bathtub because he was still breathing okay. when I pulled him out. He, when I, I told you this, he was still breathing all the way up to the point of THA is the mm-hmm. last point I saw him breathing. So I don't think he died in the bathtub either. But and I'm not. I I'm not saying that there wasn't some life in him then. But what I'm saying is that boy died of a brain injury. 
Brandon would not have been able to survive with his injuries for more than 15 minutes. He died from being shook. From being shook? From being shook. I know this to be fact. Could it have been from me, like, running around the house with him? No, absolutely not. I don't know. I didn't shake him. I would not Just do me. that. Well, listen, like I said, you and I probably won't get a chance to talk again after this. Okay. okay? So, like I said, what you tell me is what's going to go on this document and what I'm going to send up. Okay. We have our scientific fact of what's going up. That's going up. Okay. The cause of death is going up. Okay. Now, if you're going to sit here and lie to me, that's I'm also going to go on there, too. I'm okay? not lying to you, sir. I promise you. I pulled the only time I think he could have been shook is whenever I was running around with him, one arm around him, and his... That's the only time that I think he could have been shook. So, see, that's not how it works, though. It's not I a, don't know it's how it not, works. It's a gentle Please. shake. This is... It's a... There it's are bruises sure. on his body. There are bruises where the hands go when the baby shook. There are bruises where your hands were on his body. Now, like I said, if something happened and, and, and you got upset because he I was being a brat, I didn't. Like, you gotta tell me. I'm I the didn't. one that's gonna listen. After I this, didn't. you're on your own. I didn't. I am the only one that is going to listen to you. Do you understand that? Yes. But are you listening to me? I'm listening. Because I can't shake that baby. And if, if you honest to God think that you need to go look at someone else, because I'm not the one that shook him. Look at someone else. Who? You had him in your care all day. I know, all day. But he died. I'm not the only one. In your care. Do you understand that? Yes, I get that. There was nobody else. Nobody. What about days prior? Nope. This is this happens immediate. This happens immediately. This is not something that takes time. This happens. They lose consciousness and they die. This happened at that house. Okay. Like I'm telling you. There's only a couple people that know what happened. All right, you can sit here and tell me, no, he didn't get shook, he didn't get shook at all. I'm telling you right now, he did. Okay, there's a medical doctor that knows this. This happened. This is real. It happened. You were there. Jesse, if you, if you love that little boy, if you love Shannon, it's time to get this figured out. I didn't shake him. I didn't shake him. Tell me what happened. He's got I didn't. He's got wounds all over his head that are not just little from falling. He's got some some serious bruising. Okay? Shannon doesn't know anything about that. She doesn't know anything about all that bruising. Alright? Something happened and you need to tell me about it. I didn't. I didn't shake him. I would not shake Tell him. Tell me what happened. Hartley repeatedly protests that he is not responsible, but he was the only person with access to Brandon. The worst I've ever done to him is spank him. I would not shake him to death. I did. Tell me what happened on Tuesday, Jesse. Nothing happened on Tuesday. Something did. I told I know you that. everything from word to word. That's not what happened. It is. Jesse, whether you, if you sit here and lie to me, that, that doesn't mean I'm just going to say, all right. I don't, I don't expect you to be like, okay, you're free to go, but I'm telling you okay. the truth. I didn't shake that baby. I didn't shake him. I didn't I didn't hit him. I wasn't even mad at him. I wasn't mad at him. I, I, it was a normal day. It was a normal day for me and him. So see, that baby didn't just tip over and die. Something, I'm not saying that. Something happened at that house. Something did, and I don't know. I don't know if you're just too scared to, to tell me about it, to talk about it, if you think it'll make things worse. Because I'm telling you right now, you you can't go to more jail. You're in jail. I know I'm right? in jail. This is this is your opportunity. Like I said, once we leave here, but you're on your own. I didn't. Shame. And it looks a lot better for you if you tell the truth. If you go up and go through this process and flat out lie, it doesn't go well for you. I'm not lying. Because I will write it down. If you tell me the truth, I will write that down and I will go talk to my prosecutor and I will tell her he was honest with me. He told me the truth. Or I can hand it to her and say, he's on his own. I can do nothing for him. Didn't she? Jesse, something happened. That baby got shook. He it did. Wasn't I know me. that. It wasn't by me then. Who was it? I don't know. 
Who's but it wasn't alone? by me. You were there alone. I didn't shake that baby. You were alone. I've never even grabbed him like that. There are marks that say otherwise. That's absolutely marks that not true. Me absolutely. grabbing him like that. Yet there are bruises. There are hard bruises on that body. There's bruises, bruises on the face, on the, the head. bruises I saw right here, and the one on this side. There are a lot of bruises, I see. And they're not bruises for just a, a toddler bumping into things. Okay, I've been doing this a while. All right, the people that. that I work with do this all the time. I'm aware of that. That doctor has seen this. Okay, he's a smart man. He would know okay. if this was some unintentional... Because he deals with that stuff. He didn't want to. I know that. You probably love that little boy. He's a cute little kid. I've seen pictures. He's a handsome little guy. Nobody would set out to do that. He's a cute kid. He absolutely is. Something happened, man. I don't know if something just got out of control. If it, if it was an accident. Out of control. If you tried to I don't know. Did did I send him in the fucking bath wrong? Did I did I pick him up wrong? I don't know what I did. I please tell me. You're telling me it couldn't have been a little thing. But I I, I feel like if I shook him to the point like you're saying, I would remember that. I would tell you that. You think you think that if I would have intentionally, not even intentionally, but you think if I would have killed this kid, and whether it was accident or on purpose, you think that. It, I'm not as dumb as you think. I've never said that. But you ever. <laughs> ever. You think I'm just straight up lying to you? I do. You think that, but I'm not. I have proof. Could I have picked him up wrong? Could I have carried him wrong? I don't know. Could I have... I don't know. Please tell me. If there's something else, please tell me. I agree with you. There is something else. Why? I don't know what that is. I honestly... I don't think you're telling me the truth. I don't know if something happened that day and... Hartley's display of emotion doesn't move the detective. It is something he has seen numerous times in similar cases. And you're too scared to talk about it? I've and it's you okay. Like, I've I told you everything. Me you can tell me what it is. The only time I even picked him up was when I picked him up from the bath. For the bath. It's the only time I ever picked him up. And from whenever he fell down. Out of the table. That's the only time I ever picked him up. I said that he walked all by himself. Those injuries are not caused from that. Okay? They're not. This is all out in the open. This We know that that body was traumatized. And it wasn't from being carried around wrong. We know that. Alright? So you think I took him and I just shook the shit out of him for no reason? Yes. Oh, for no reason. I don't know. I can't answer that. That's what I'm asking. I wasn't mad. Did he push you to that point? No. Because it didn't happen. I didn't shake the shit out of him like that. Were you high? Was this, uh, I mean, honestly. I wasn't high. Was I wasn't. something that you might not remember? Do you think, look at me, do you think that THC affects you in that, in that form? Honest to God. Your you, memory? Not even, not even necessarily my memory, because I remember that, that day very clearly. But yeah, okay, I, I'll admit to you, THC definitely does affect your memory. It definitely well, does. I know that. Because it's, 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 my memory is shot. I remember that day very clearly because, like I told you, I wasn't high. I wasn't on anything. Remember that day very clearly. Okay. Do you think the THC affects you in the sense that I'm just going to snap and shake a little boy? I don't know. I you don't know if know THC that. affects you that way? I don't know how it affects you. I can tell you right now, I've, I've smoked marijuana since I was like 14 years old, and I can tell you right now it does not. If anything, it makes me feel like the same normal human being. Okay. That's great. Okay, I know I know that's not any of the topics, but I just wanted to make that very clear that I wasn't high and marijuana was not the cause. It was not. It did not make me snap. I was not mad at him. I was n nothing. The detective has never said that he believed that was the cause. He is sure it was as simple as the child annoying Hartley one too many times on a bad day. But do you understand where I'm coming from here? You're telling me this happened. And I'm telling you that boy did not die like you said. What am I supposed to think? 
That you're telling the truth? What am I supposed to think? Because that's what happened. You're telling me that doctors are figuring out all this that is completely opposite from what I said. And like, how am I supposed to argue with that? I can't. I literally can't. Oh, I, can't. I, know, I know that it's, it's, and, and if I was lying, I would have been like, yeah, dude, this is what happened. But I'm not. I'm not. That's why I'm so... dumbfounded at what to tell you because I didn't I didn't lose my cool with him I didn't shake him didn't Jesse's that's not what that boy's body said that's not what it said it's and that's why I'm like I like said to dumbfounded hurt. you got hurt you got hurt bad and I would never do that to him I love that kid like he's my own kid I'm not even, I'm not even I wanted the, I wanted so much for that kid. I have been raised by two two assholes. Two complete assholes that, that told me that they would never leave me and told me that they would told me that they would take care of me and take care of my mother and, and do all this for me and do all this for my mother and they didn't. They didn't. I ended up being raised by a single mother. And then I come along, I meet this beautiful girl, this beautiful kid. It turns out his dad's a piece of shit. Oh man. Jesse, you do what you do best. Just what? Step up. Try to be there for someone. Because all my life, I can't figure it out for myself. I can't figure out what to do for myself. I can't figure out what my next step is. I can't figure out what I want. But what I saw was a little boy that needed a dad. So I became his dad. I did everything for that kid, from changing his diapers to to taking him to see cool things, to to loving on him, to being the stern father figure that doesn't let him get candy before nine o'clock or after nine o'clock, to playing video games with him, to teaching him how to ride a bike, everything. I wanted that for him. That's great. I'm not that I know, that. and it doesn't mean shit to you. But something happened that day. You have to admit, something happened that day. Something bad happened that day. The kid's dead. Obviously, something happened. Kids don't I, just die. I know something they don't happened. just die. I found him in... I don't know if I put him in... If I was aggressive with him when I put him in the tub, or when I picked him up. I don't know. That's not... Like I said, this is not an aggressive... This isn't just, like, a little tossle. This is a violent, repetitive shake. That's what it is. That's what causes this. I would remember that. Regardless if I was high on fucking anything in the world, I feel like I would remember that. I feel like that would replay over and over in my head and I wouldn't be able to live with it. Because I already can't live with the fact that I fucked up so bad that I've hurt all these people. I was so careless that I've hurt all these people and a little boy's dead because of me. A little boy that I love like my own kid. I mean, not it came out of my nutsack, but I loved him just the same. I did. I already hate myself. I do. Okay. Jesse, if this is going to haunt you, okay? It is. And it's, it haunts me, the fact that he's dead. I, but I don't understand how you can sit here and tell me but the way that little boy died is different from what happened. I'm not telling friends. you. I believe that he died that way, but I don't know if it was from me fucking picking him up. I don't know. If it's not how it works, man. I, I know you. that's what you keep saying, but I don't know I, that how it worked. I told you how it worked. That kid got, you grabbed on him and shook him. And you think it was me? Yes, I told you that. That's no secret. I, I do. I think it was you. You were there, he was in your care. Am I wrong there? Yes, he was. He was, he was in your in my care. care. He was okay. in my care. I no point. So he's in your care. And shake him like that. He's at the hospital and he's dead. Right in between there. He got shook. There's nobody else involved. It's just you. He got shook. That's it. He got shook and he died. I don't recall period of when... Is it possible that it happened and you don't remember it? That for whatever reason, I don't you know. Don't remember it. But if I didn't remember, I wouldn't know. But as far as I can clearly tell you, 
every step that happened that week. Could something lesser have happened? Would mm-hmm. something lesser? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Could you something happen that maybe maybe I'm making a mistake over? You're making a mistake. Well, well, this happened, and you, you're not because there's a lot of things that you're not that you. But I I've tried to, I've tried asking you. You say lesser, and I I, I feel like as in lesser is and like something little that happened. Yeah, were you upset? And it wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't a big blowout. No. Like I said, was there a wrestling match? I mean, tell me, like, what could have caused this? Give me some some other details. What could have caused this? Because <laughs> you're really killing me. I know. I know this is your job. I know you're trying to get in my head. I know you're trying I'm to, not to get in your head. No, you I'm are. Not. Honestly, right. that is your job. That's not. I don't get in people's heads. You I confront you with the truth. You confront me with the truth. Yes, with the truth. Because and I guess you can't lie from a non-corrupt. But I don't. You're right. It I, doesn't lie. It doesn't lie, but I don't, I didn't shake him, I didn't, and if I did, I didn't do it on purpose, it, 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 it. The detective does not believe that Hartley set out to kill Brandon. Often in shaking incidents, the adult tried to get a child to be quiet or stop crying. I don't recall any point where I shook him, okay. especially grabbed him like this and shook him. I don't know if he was carrying him from the bathtub to his car. He was moving around a lot. He was completely fucking limp. I don't know if maybe that caused it. No. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't. Mm. I don't recall any point throughout our day or past days or ever where I even picked him up like this, let alone shook him like this. Something like that doesn't necessarily occur with you holding him up. He could have been on the floor. Okay. I, I don't. Was it during a diaper or a pull-up change, changing his clothes? He's, he's got marks on him, Jesse, that that don't account for anything else than than something forceful. Okay, he's got a he had a horrific cut in on his mouth from being hit. He had bite marks on his tongue. Okay, those things don't just happen from playing. They don't. Josh and Sam, they do. Okay, Jesse, those things happened. It was brutal. His tongue was chewed up by his own teeth. That skin in between his gums and his upper lip is cut from being hit in the mouth. That doesn't just mouth. happen. It happens by force. That's it. That's the And you way. also asked me if I touched him. Okay. Well, let's, you, not, let's not get there. No, yet. no, I'm just, no, no, you're, you're accusing me of all this stuff, and then you also accuse me of touching him. I just want you to know this is probably something you or anybody needs to know, but my girlfriend does every sexual favor for me that I could ask for. So I promise you I wouldn't touch a little boy. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Okay. Let's, that go, is let's disgusting. go back to the face. Back to the face. What? How did he get that? I have that no... in his mouth. How did his tongue get Could it have been whenever he fell out of the chair? I don't know. No, you would have noticed. You would have known. That he would have cried for hours. You would have needed stitches. He would have been bleeding out of the mouth. From what was on his tongue? From his tongue being chewed up and that piece of skin that connects the gum and the lip being torn. I'm assuming that's where the blood came from. He coughed up on me. I don't know. I don't know. Especially there wasn't water in his lungs. What was in his lungs? What did I watch Nothing. come out of his lungs? I guarantee it was probably blood. There was not blood. I'm sorry, but it was like an orange and clear substance. If you don't believe me, ask the officer that was there doing CPR oh, on him. He said he ate Cheetos. He didn't eat right? Cheetos. He told me he, he ate Cheetos. When, who told you he ate Cheetos? You told me he had Cheetos after his lunch? No, I didn't. I told you I, told you I gave him a cookie. Okay. So are you sure you know what you're talking about? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Can, maybe can it was Shannon saying he likes Cheetos. Maybe that was that was her time that she likes Cheetos. Maybe, but I never told you anything about Cheetos. I said right. a cookie. I said I gave him a cookie for eating all of his right. breakfast. Well, I'm telling you, he got hit in the face. He got hit in the mouth. Whether it was uh, being pushed or hit, I don't know. But that skin was cut, and it doesn't just do that. It doesn't do that. Kids bump into stuff. It does not do that. Okay. So I'm gonna get this is I'm gonna just give you this one out and then we're done and I'm gonna go finish my stuff and send it up and you're on your own. Okay.
Jesse, if you got something to tell me about what happened to that little boy that can explain those injuries, man, I am the person that needs to hear it because there's nobody else. Once we leave here, I'm taking you back to your cell and whatever happens to you, happens to you. I got nothing for you. I will put down what you told me. I will send it up. What do you want me to tell you? I want you to tell me the truth. I want you to tell me what happened. I to don't boy. remember. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. I don't remember anything else. I told you everything I know from the time I woke up to the time where Shannon left to where he ate his food to when we played video games to when I put him in the bath. And you're telling me he didn't even have water in his lungs whenever I watched it come out of his mouth. I watched it all pour out. He didn't drown. Okay. I believe he didn't drown. I believe yeah. you on that. But I found him in the bath. So how did he get the head injury? I don't know. Did he fall in the bath? I don't That's know. That's not a... This, this injury does not come from falling in the tub. Okay? It's a repetitive motion. It's a brain injury. I don't know. I didn't shake him, though. No. didn't. And that's what you're going to stick with. Like I said. If I accidentally shook him when I was putting him in the bath, like I told you, you said that's impossible. If I accidentally shook him, I don't know. But I, I didn't pick I him up. I didn't sit him shake. down. I didn't shake him repeatedly like this. I didn't. If I did it on accident, if I was being careless. Tell me about that then. Maybe, like I said. If I was being... Tell, tell you about what? Maybe it was something careless that... I told you from the beginning. I don't, think I don't you know. To, I don't to, know if I was being. How am I supposed to know if I'm being careless? This stuff happens sometimes. Maybe how am I supposed happens, to know? Like, but what, oh, but what you're saying. Hurt. No, what you're saying is that you want me to come out and be like, okay, so maybe I accidentally shook him. No. You said you. I. What if I no, accidentally no, shook him? No, 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 no. That's, that's not what I meant. You're telling me that if. I just shook him, and I'm too scared to tell you. Just tell you. Yes. But I don't know. I don't. I don't recall any point of whenever I just got pissed off at him and shook him. By careless, what I mean is how I picked him up. I don't know. I don't know what, what carelessness could have caused that. I but that's the. So, that's the only thing. That I found myself guilty of this carelessness. Okay, well, like I said, man, that's not what. What do you want me to tell you? I only want to know what happened. I only want to know the truth. That's it. That's all, man. Like, what's done is done. That little boy's gone. Shannon is trying to plan a funeral here. Her little boy's gone. I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to be there for it. No, you're not. This is. This isn't good. Like she needs some answers. She wants to know what happened. This sucks for her, man. It sucks for everybody. It sucks for you. You're not, dude. You're 18. You're not some cold-blooded killer running around on the streets, man. I know that. I have never even heard of you. I feel like that's how I'm being treated. I really do. You would. You really want to know, I feel like I'm being treated like a fucking cold-blooded killer. When a child has been killed, and there is only one possible suspect, it is not reasonable to expect that person will not be asked some hard questions and treated with skepticism when they fail to supply a satisfactory explanation that could change the death from murder to a horrible accident. Well, I have to ask questions. I know you have to ask questions, I know that, but you're like... Oh, you're, you're not telling me the truth. Whenever, I don't know, I don't know. Jesse, what you're telling me does not match up. It doesn't, not even close. So what am I supposed to think? I don't know. I don't either. But, like I said, man, this is your, your chance to, to clear the air. And, I'm so scared. You know, what, what's got you scared? What are you scared of? You're getting in my head, man. You really are. How? You're, it's working. Your job is working, man. How am I getting in your head? Because you are. Do you are. Not. You know that's my job. You're, you know that's your job. Please don't tell me it's not because get any any head. private investigator's job is to go and sit down with someone, get in their head, get what they want out of them, and be done. Uh, Correct? I'm getting in your head. I'm I don't think I'm head. smart enough to get in your head. I'm just asking point blank questions. That's it. <sighs>
I'm just asking you what happened. That's it. I'm not trying to mess your head. I just fucked up real bad. I fucked up. This statement is the truest thing Hartley has said during the entire interview. I probably, uh, you're right. I should have been honest from the beginning. I should have. It probably would have been a lot easier. There's no reason for me not to be. I dropped him. I literally dropped him. Okay. And then I, I, everything was true. The rest of it was true. The bath, everything. I dropped him when I was putting him in the bath. My dumb ass, what do I do? He's still conscious. He was so conscious, like I swear, he was so conscious. I was like, are you okay? He was crying. I got him to calm down. And I still took him, stuck him in the bath. And I shouldn't have. I, I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess thinking about it, falling from this high down to a, down to a floor, this is pretty bad. Okay. And I was really scared. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm okay. sorry I didn't tell you. But I swear it was an accident. And I swear I didn't mean to. I was just a little scared. And I'm still scared that you're going to use this against me. But I can't. I can't. I can't get up around it. I can't. I dropped him. I'm sorry. It's just as careless as me leaving him in the bathtub. But... It just makes me seem like such a shitty person. But I was just trying to do what was best for him. I was. I was trying to... I didn't want to make Shannon feel like she couldn't trust me with him alone. I sure as shit didn't want this right here to happen. I didn't. I should have just picked him up, I should have brought him to the hospital, but I didn't. Okay. I'm sorry I lied to you. Don't apologize. It's okay. It's not. I, I should have been honest. It would have made your life easier. It would have made my life easier. It's okay. This is it's about you right now, okay? It's not about me. It's about Brandon. Okay. His life is lost, and it's my fault. But please... Please tell me you don't believe I did it on purpose. I'll tell you what, let's, let's go back. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, let's go back to the beginning, right? And then tell me, <laughs> give me all the details you can about, about what happened. Everything was the same, everything. Okay. From the time we woke up, him eating, him falling out of the chair, him, me moving, I moved the end table from the living room into his room, and set up a chair in there so he could eat in there. And we played the video game, or we played with his cars, played the video game, went back in his room, we watched Boss Baby, I took him to that, and when I was bringing him in there, he, he walked in there, I took his clothes off, I picked him up, and he dropped him, and he like hit his head on the step, hit his head on the step of the bathtub, and fell to the ground, and he just started crying, and it felt like a piece of shit. And I picked him up, and I calmed him down, and I just kind of gently shook him, I calmed him down, and he finally stopped crying. He didn't, where I feel like I was so dumb, is like he didn't really seem like, like he was conscious. And I was like, you okay buddy? And he's like, yeah. But he didn't seem like himself, and I still stuck him in the bath. And I shouldn't have, I should have took him to the hospital. But I swear, I did find him unconscious. I pulled him out. I did perform CPR on him. I did freak out. I everything else with him it was true. I just didn't take the part where it dropped. What part of his head did he hit? Like the back. He, I, I was holding him like this, and then I just dropped him, and he hit like. Let me see. Okay. Is that where the the wet wax come from? Cleaning that up? Yeah. He did he did have a bit of blood coming, not quite a bit, but a little bit of blood, so I went and grabbed some wet naps and I just started cleaning his face up. And it stopped bleeding. So I just took stuck him in the tub. 
What part of his face was bleeding? Just out of his mouth. It's coming out of his mouth. Yeah. So he fell straight onto his back, the back of his head. Um, you said that there was stuff, uh, cut marks in his lip. I'm assuming he probably bit his, bit his. Hartley is using the pieces of information the detective has given him to try to craft a believable version of events, but he still cannot quite get everything to line up correctly. So he didn't hit his face. No, he I did. The, the, he hit the back of his head. I'm pretty sure, yes. He, did. he hit the back of his head. Was the back of his head bleeding? No. Were anything out of his ears? Not that I know of, no, not that I saw. Nose or mouth? Just. I think a little bit came out of his nose and, like, like some out of his mouth. Like, mainly what I saw was out of his mouth. I didn't see any from the back of his head. I didn't see any from his ears. I just saw what was on his mouth. And that's honestly kind of made me think, like, I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was careless. So how did you drop him? What? So he took his he clothes all the way off? He just slipped out. He just yeah. slipped out. And I was literally picking him up to go from the ground to the bathtub, because it's a pretty high bathtub. Okay. And I just dropped him. I was careless. I promise you, I wasn't high. I would tell you if I was. I, I wasn't high. I wasn't on anything. Okay. Were, was he throwing a fit? I mean, no. did he just squirm out? Like how? No, I just he slipped out of my hands. Was he naked yeah. when he slipped out of your hands? Yeah. Okay. And you put him in the bathtub? After I, yeah, cleaned him up. You cleaned him up, put him in the bathtub, and he was conscious? He was conscious when I left, and that's whenever I went in the kitchen and threw away the wet naps. And I did get a drink. That wasn't a lie either. And then I went back and I found him on my Okay. When you, when you put him in the tub after he hit his head, you said he was crying. He was and done he crying by the time I put him back okay. in the bathtub. Is that where the blood came from on your shirt? Or was that after you got him out? I'm assuming it was from... Because whenever he initially fell, I picked him up and I held him for a second and sh like I told you, held him for a second and shook him up and down to calm him down. Mm -hmm. He calmed down and he set him back down on the floor and then as soon as I grabbed the wipes, I wiped him up and then I picked him back up and I put him up. Okay. So yeah. yes, maybe some blood got on my shirt when I picked him up. Was there any blood in the bathtub? Not that when I you got him when you picked him up earlier? I didn't, I didn't even look. Okay. So you say he was face down? When you walk back in? Yeah. It's, yeah. It looked like he had fallen forward, like really was sitting and fallen forward. Okay. Anything else you can think of, Jesse? Am I, am I, I just want to make sure I understand it all right. You, you give him a bath, you, he took his clothes off, you picked him up to go put him in the tub. He slipped out of your hands, he fell and hit the back of his head, correct? And you cried a little bit. You picked him up. He didn't cry a little bit. He was crying pretty hard, but okay. I calmed him down. I went. could usually calm him down. Pretty okay. Bad. And then you went and got wipes, and you cleaned him up while you were holding him before you put him in the tub. I wasn't holding him. He was standing up. Okay. But you cleaned up the blood from his face. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. It was coming, said from his nose. Or his, his mouth? mouth? It was from his mouth. From I mouth. think I saw it. I wasn't sure if it was from me wiping it, wiping his face, but there was some above his nose, like right okay. here. Or Did under you have any idea how he would have hit his mouth? Did he hit and roll? How would he have... Yeah. It honestly happened all fast. I just dropped him, and then like I... It's like it happened like that, like he dropped him, and I was like, oh shit, and I picked him right back up. Like, he could have. I don't know. Right. Okay, I just... I don't know. Okay. I should be the truth. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is there anything else you can think of? No. I am so careless. <laughs> I'm so sorry though, and I'm gonna be sorry till the day I die. Whether I'm, 
they spend years in prison or not, or if I have to get let off, I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to live with this for the rest of my life, and the, the fact that I was so careless, I don't know if I'll ever be able to have another kid again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a tragic deal, that is, for a certain, all the way around. It's, it's really sad. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. Really. I, I like I, you, I'm not offended. I'm sorry. Especially if you lie to me every day. I know, okay. but That's I'm sorry. I questions. It's okay. I just didn't. Being sorry isn't going to be enough to prevent Hartley from facing serious charges, which is what it sounds like he is trying to avoid. I don't know why I didn't think that was a big deal. I thought maybe it would save my ass in the long run, but no, like it just got me in trouble more. It made me out to be a liar. Right. And that's the opposite of what I wanted. I just want to know I'm being honest with you now. I'm telling you okay. everything. So, it, because there's, like I said, it bruises all over that kid's body that, you know, him hitting his head would have. Uh, he did have bruises before that day, like he did have like one on his arm, he had the little dot on his forehead, and he had on one side right here. That's the only bruises I know of. And he's got, he's got multiple bruises, yeah. right here and here. I know, I saw that afterwards, I saw the ones right here, The only that's the only new ones that I saw was right here. Any idea where those could have come from? Maybe picking him up off the ground, I don't know. I didn't grab him by the face or anything. I don't know how I could have caused those. Okay. I really don't. Anything else you can think of? Okay. Well, but I'm, I'm being serious with you. Whenever, like, he was completely limp whenever I was carrying him and I was running around like a madman. Like, I don't know. I don't know, I want to say that it was from that, but I can't say that because I don't know, I don't know. Okay. But he was limp in my arms and I was running around and I could feel his arms hitting me and his legs hitting me and his head going back and forth. Okay. Well, if anything else comes to mind, okay, like I said, we're we may not talk again, but if something comes up that you think I need to know, get a hold of somebody. I know. Don't know where to find me. Okay? Did I give you what you want? I, like I said, I'm not, I don't come in here like No, you, you no, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Like I, that put that, I put that, I put that really wrong, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that up. I meant, I meant, That's more accurate. Are you going to help me? I, like I said. I, the, I don't want to be out to be a liar, so I'm trying to be... So, I'm not right. even trying. I am now 100% honest with you. That, is the, that was the only thing that I was thinking out. Well, the fact that I draw, yeah, I know. Right? I, I shouldn't have left it out. I'm sorry. You were pretty adamant that that, that didn't happen, so you got to understand. I know. I know. But it's all I could think about is right. the fact that I dropped him, and I couldn't. I couldn't. I could not, could not tell you, and I, I, I as I laid in my cell, I was just, the entire time, that's the only thing I could think about. Trust me, like, if there was, there was more, I'd be telling you. There was, if there was more, I'd, I'd be telling you, I promise, because that one thing fucking haunts me. That haunts me, and that haunted me that I didn't tell you guys, it haunted me that I didn't tell Shannon. It just haunted me, I did. It really fucks me up, and it's still fucking me up. Okay. I just... Everybody else... My mom tells me that everybody else knows that I didn't do it on purpose. But everybody else's opinion doesn't really matter. Yours, the prosecutors, and the judges is what matters. And, and you guys, opinion, right? I know, I know, but yeah. but it is sort of your opinion because if you think I'm sitting here still continuing to lie to you, then that's what you're going to tell the prosecutor. So if your opinion is that I'm still lying to you, you're going to tell the prosecutor that I'm lying to you, so that your opinion doesn't matter that in, right. in, in a chain effect. I understand what you're saying, and I'm so I'm going to write gotta what be, you told me. Okay, I gotta be adamant about about the fact. 
Jesus. Every day. Show me what. I just want him back. I want to hold him again. I just, I messed up really bad. I was really careless. I'm so sorry. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in prison for this. Hartley is distressed at the thought of life in prison. He might be able to get off with a lesser sentence, but he will undoubtedly serve a long sentence. I don't even want to be in jail until the seventh for this, but I know I have to. I'm just so scared. I'm 18, and I tried to do my best with him. I did, I did, I tried. I wanted to, have to, I wanted to give him everything I never had. And I was just so careless. I couldn't even give him what my, my shitty piece of shit stepdads gave me, which was life. I couldn't even give him that. I tried. I fucked up and I was scared. And I was so scared. I miss him so much and I miss Shannon so much. I'm so sorry. I should be honest with you. Is there anything else you want to add about before we close up? No. Okay. All right, then. We'll, we'll go ahead and end this, and I'll get you back there, okay? You can have a little time by yourself. I don't know if I want to be alone. I feel like such a piece of shit. I do. <laughs> Whether you think I did it on purpose or not, <laughs> I'm gonna live with this for the rest of my life. Yeah, I know, I know that. <laughs> my life's already really messed up. How am I supposed to continue with this? Yeah, you just do the best you can. <laughs> can Maybe I please see a counselor like right now? I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to do. I don't. I don't want to die, but I don't want to live with this. I don't. <laughs> okay. I'll get you a counselor, okay? How am I supposed to live with this? I told you about it, it was from a shampoo. Okay. I, I don't know. Right. So going back, we we got your DNA, right? Yeah. And we're gonna we did an anal swab of him. Is there any chance? No, oh, there's that? not. I promise okay. you, there's no okay. chance. Right. And if there is, you can. I will fucking plead guilty. I will plead guilty 100 percent. There's no chance. No way. No way. I would never. Okay. Like I told you, you probably don't want to hear it. My girlfriend does every sexual favor I would ask her for. There's no way. I find that disgusting. I find it absolutely disgusting. And honest to God, I feel like 
pedophiles and people do that to children should be killed on sight. This may be harsh, may sound harsh, but it's true. I, it's disgusting. Okay. I would never wish that upon him him anymore. I think about it, it pisses me off because I know it wasn't me, but if it wasn't me, who was it? Right. Who did that to him? <laughs> I really hope that you guys try to figure that out and don't just leave it at that. It didn't do that to him. Okay. Like I said, we'll, we got that stuff and it's, we'll be sent off and okay, just... Okay. Well, promise me that you... Promise me that when it comes back negative that I didn't do it, you guys won't just leave it at that. We won't leave it at that. Please. Because that pisses me off. Right. That pisses me off a lot. And like I told you before, I've had my... I've had my thoughts about her sister and the way her sister treats him because her sister doesn't treat her own daughter very well so it worried me about the way she treats Brandon and my mom, I told my mom that today, I told my mom about the, the terrorists and she started crying and she's like you, I know that wasn't you and I I feel like I know who that was, and if I need to, I will be honest about it. And she thinks the same person, because... It's not good. This is not good. I'm so scared. Alright, Miss, we'll get you back there. It's uh, 2.28. Please, can I talk to the couch? Like yes. We will go. I don't want to be by myself. Okay. Well, I've got to put you back in there, right? I, that's what I have to do, and then I will go straight to the detention officer and tell them you want to see a counselor. Okay? All right. I'll we'll shut this down. All right, well, we're going to get you back in this cup for a minute until we get to the other side. I know you can't do a lot, but please. <laughs> I did my part. I know you can't do a lot, but please tell me you'll help me the best you can. Like I said, I'm, what you told me is what I'm going to write. And I'm not going to say, I think, I think. What you said and what the doctor said, okay? okay. That's, that's how it works. I'm not, I don't offer my opinion. I just... Legally, the detective cannot offer any legal advice or tell a suspect exactly what will happen as far as charges or sentencing. Get the information and I pass it on. That's what I do, okay? okay? All right, when turn I'll get you... Get you back there. All right, my friend. After four hours of deliberation, the jury found Hartley guilty of first degree murder that occurred as a result of the aggravated child abuse the defendant recklessly committed. As the state opted not to seek the death penalty in the case, Hartley was sentenced to life in prison. He appealed this decision, but the court decided to uphold the sentence in 2021. Thanks again for tuning in. Drop a like if you like this video, and check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel even more. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.